Moving your EndNote library to Zotero can be done in a few steps that we'll go through together. Exporting your library from EndNote, importing your library into Zotero, and cleaning up the files. To ensure no data is lost in this process, let's start by creating a backup copy of your EndNote library. Locate your EndNote library folder, which is typically found in your Documents or Applications folder. Copy the folder by right-clicking and selecting Copy, or pressing Ctrl or Command plus C. Paste this folder in another location, such as your desktop. This will be your backup, and you can delete it once you've completed the import process. Open your EndNote library. If you have previously used EndNote versions from 2007 or earlier, including versions 2 through 9, X, or X1, you'll need to first convert figures to attachments before exporting. If you haven't used these versions, skip this step. To convert figures, select the All References tab, then select all the references by selecting one entry and pressing Ctrl or Command plus A. From the toolbar, select References, then select Figure, and then select Convert Figures to File Attachments. Click OK. Now, let's create an XML file of your library to export. You can export all references into one Zotero folder, or you can select individual records or groups. If you wish to maintain any organizational structure from the My Groups tabs, you'll want to complete this process for each of your groups one at a time. To export individual references or groups of references, navigate to the All References tab or one of your My Groups tabs. Select individual records by holding down Control or Command and left-clicking with your mouse. Or select all records by clicking on one record and pressing Control or Command A. If you wish to export all references at once, don't select any records and proceed to the next step. Go to the toolbar and select File, then Export. In the box that pops up, set the Save In location as your EndNote data directory, which is a folder that ends in .data. It's important to save it in this specific folder so all data exports properly. Edit the file name so it identifies the file contents. Change the Save As type to XML. To edit the output style, click the drop-down box, choose Select Another Style, scroll down to find and select RefMan RIS Export, and select Choose. If you're exporting a subset of your library, Check the Export Selected References box. Otherwise, make sure it's unchecked. Click Save and then Close EndNote. Open Zotero. From the toolbar, select File and then Import. Check the option for A File and click Next. Choose the .xml file you created in the EndNote export process and then click Open. In the next dialog box, it's a good idea to leave the box checked for Place Imported Collections and Items into New Collection, which will let you review your citations in one spot. Under File Handling, select Copy Files to the Zotero Storage Folder. Click Next, and then click Finish after it imports. All of your items and corresponding attachments should now be imported into Zotero. Finally, let's clean up the imported files. Through the transfer process, Zotero stores notes from EndNote, some that you may have created and some that EndNote created but aren't used by Zotero. You can delete these notes to prevent Zotero from slowing down with unnecessary data. To find and delete these notes, we'll use the advanced search function to locate a phrase that occurs in all notes, corresponding Zotero field. From the toolbar, select Edit, then Advanced Search. Set My Library as the Search in Library. Set each of the fields so the search parameters read Match all of the following Note contains corresponding Zotero field. Leave all boxes unchecked and click Search. Now click Save Search. Name the search and then click OK. You've now created a saved search that includes all notes. Navigate to My Library and locate the saved search folder you created. You can review and delete each note individually, 
or delete all notes in bulk by selecting one entry and then pressing Ctrl or Command A to select all. Press Delete and then click OK in the dialog box.